Hello, I am Congresswoman Valerie Fushi, the federal representative for North Carolina's 4th Congressional District. I regret that I am unable to be there in person with you all today, but I am honored to bring virtual greetings as we commemorate Transit Equity Day. First, I would like to take a moment to thank Bike Durham, the Coalition for Affordable Housing and Transit, Durham Committee on the Affairs of Black People, Durham Congregations in Action, and the People's Alliance for organizing today's event and for inviting me to participate. Transit Equity Day takes place on Rosa Parks' birthday, February 4th, to honor her life, her historic protest, and her pivotal role in the fight for transit equity. While her courageous actions sparked the movement for transit equity, we are still far from achieving a truly equitable transit system. Safe, reliable, and affordable public transit is an essential public service and is more than just moving people from point A to point B. Public transit can serve as a vital lifeline. It's about jobs, education, and access to critical services. Additionally, robust transit systems contribute to cleaner air, less congestion on our roads, and it can be a powerful tool to advance equity and sustainability. The people who rely on public transit the most often face the most difficulty accessing it. Without transit, it is more difficult for people to succeed, especially those who are low income or are historically disadvantaged. Unequal access to public transit based on race, income, and disability still persists to this day and has worsened due to cuts in funding for transportation and fare increases. It is incredibly important that we keep transportation equity front and center and we ensure we financially back the principle of rectifying historical harms. As a member of the House Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure, I am proud to be an original co-sponsor of the recently introduced Stronger Communities Through Better Transit Act, federal legislation that will provide transit agencies with the funding they need to run our transportation systems and would help get everyone where they need to go quickly, reliably, and affordably. Additionally, I was proud to introduce a resolution to nationally designate February 4th as Transit Equity Day to honor the life and legacy of Rosa Parks and to applaud the many communities across the country that celebrate Transit Equity Day by offering fare free rides on public transportation. Public transportation will remain a necessity now and into the future, especially as our region continues to grow. And as your partner in Washington, I will continue to support forward-looking investments across all modes of transportation with focuses on equity, safety, and resiliency. Thank you again, and I wish you all a wonderful Transit Equity Day.